हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते आई एम सो ग्लैड टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू हियर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दिस ब्यूटीफुल कंपोजिशन एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपोजिशन इज एसेंस सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ लॉट्स ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्ट रोजेस विद ऑल दिस ब्यूटीफुल पैटर्न अलॉन्ग विद इट I am drawing on a six inch by six inch paper. I am going to draw on this artist tile. They are the pre-cut six inch by six inch tile, and they are especially made for the pattern drawing. And the brand is Strathmore. I am going to use this Micron Pigma pen, and the tip size of this pen is zero point five mm. So, guys, a lot of you have asked about the pen. So, you can use any black marker pen. If it is a archival ink marker pen, then it is the best. but otherwise you can use any black marker pen as i'm showing you lot of few options like the sharpie ultra fine faber castell these art liners stedler these all brands are beautiful and there are various other lot of brands are available you can use any black marker pen whatever you feel like so i personally like to use this brand so i'm going to use this one we are going to use pencil for the shading that's the most important part at the last once we are done drawing and then we use either the q tip or the earbud or maybe the blending stump or the tissue paper for the blending we are going to use it later so let's keep it aside and let's start so before we start we are going to draw these few lines in the corner to make these little uh, sides this net on the corner and for that i'm going to draw directly with the pen if you guys want you can draw if you want to draw the straight line you can use the ruler otherwise you can go ahead and draw directly like the way i'm doing and i'm going to draw a little wavy line like this at one side and like this at the other side then from the corner i'm going to leave like this kind of space here This is kind of three fourth inch, and little wavy line, very organic, all the way cutting across the page. Same way, I'm going to draw here. It's like that. Micron, but it is zero point two. Is it two thick point? Point two is really thick. Uh, yes, uh, because I'm just using zero point five mm, so it's like four times thicker than that, Lavina. But uh, you can use maybe you can use the diff bigger size paper because, or maybe you can just draw a little less pattern. Like I'm going to draw kind of fifteen lines, so you can just draw ten lines, maybe. So guys now after this we are going to draw I mean in mm Oh I'm waiting so honey so if you think your pen is like uh, the thickness of the pen is kind of similar you can use it Lavina Now we are going to draw start from the corner like this curvy line So that will be my first line Okay I'm waiting Suhani so while waiting let me just tell you today in my discord uh let me show you that the discord app so this is the discord app guys and in the discord amazing dorothy and she submitted this artwork beautiful all these corner pattern are all the uh spiral art which we do on every thursday yesterday we did so these are all the spiral art like these kind of spiral art which we do on every thursday they are just the half an hour session and she used all these spiral art pattern most of them in the corners awesome submissions dorothy i really appreciate your work and the center is beautiful mandala and in this art corner like this lekhya bella submitted this beautiful dot pattern which we are making in our dot mandala classes beautiful neelam 
So you guys can submit your artwork, beautiful Heral. Your this blue color submission is awesome. And I really want to appreciate and give shout out to Aruna for her three year old daughter. She is the youngest participant in my session. And that is the fun in this session that any age can join these sessions. So she submitted this. She used that string yesterday, yesterday morning in our spiral art session and she made it. Awesome Aruna. So you guys can join the discord and you guys can submit your work there and you can see other participants work too there. That's the fun. Okay, let's resume. So if you want to intricate your pattern, if you want to increase the difficulty level, you can make these lines little closer. If you want, you can make these lines. If you want to make it little easy, you can make these lines little further apart so it's absolutely your choice how you want to keep it try to draw your lines little these curve kind of contour shape and now i'll continue the same way here And after this, we'll make the crisscross, like the hatching, cross hatching. Right now we are doing the contour hatching and now we are going to do the cross contour. So we'll go in the opposite direction. If you want, we can start from the corner that it would be better. So we can start from the corner like this. So this will be my first crisscross or the contour hatching line and try to maintain the distance so that's how I completed the corner and now I keep on going to the both sides Okay, Nemul, I'm waiting. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm waiting. Take your time. And I'm just making it a little bit closer. can't hear your voice I hope you guys can hear my voice now if you can't hear it please let me know when is the mandala art class so Razina, uh, next Friday, today is Friday, right? Next Friday, we are going to do mandala art. That's open for all. You can join that. This is the mandala, which we are going to do next Friday. And this mandala, we are going to do after one next Friday, like next to next Friday. So in this month, on all four Fridays, this Friday, we are going to make this pattern, Zen Doodle. Then two Fridays, we are going to do this. And in between, we'll do one more Zen Doodle. So these are the open to all for everyone. But if you are talking about the mandalas, are these mandalas? So these are all on Saturdays and Saturdays, these are only for my Patreons. So you can go ahead and check the Patreon and you can join those mandala sessions also on Saturdays. So Monica, about the timings and schedule, if you join my Discord, you can see all the schedule, days, timings, materials and everything. So 
Yes, I can repeat the cross hatching, Lavina. If you see, like suppose this is our corner which we are drawing. And we started drawing from the corner like this. You can start in any direction, that's not a problem. I'm drawing a little fast and a little uh, more open and like this. And after you can start drawing like this. So just in the opposite. So that's how you can achieve the cross hatching. Make sense? So if you are just drawing in the one direction, it's the hatching. If you are drawing the contour line, so it's a contour hatching instead of the straight, straight hatching. Because the straight hatching is just the straight lines. And this is the cross hatching. But if you are doing the contour line, like little wavy, then this is the contour hatching. So now we are going to complete this contour hatching here. So if you want, you can use the same pen and go ahead and make the line double. If you want, you can use little thick pen. So dot mandalas also, Razina, uh, are for the uh, Patreon only. So all these dot mandala classes, the one you showed here, so we do in every Saturday. And all my Saturday sessions are for the patrons only. So whoever have joined me on the Patreon can join on these sessions. This is a little thick pen. I'm going to use this pen to make these borders little thicker. We can use the same pen also. So that's not the problem. You can use the same pen. You can use little thick pen. It's absolutely your choice. We want to give it a 3D look. We want to these edges to go a little bit down and to bring the center up. So these thick lines really helps in uh, achieving that result. And when we'll do the shading, then we'll actually get the 3D uh, look of our work. I here use the Kelly Art Thick Marker Pen. And now it's the time to draw lots of abstract roses. So if you want, you can draw one rose with the pencil if you feel like. Or otherwise you can directly draw like me I'm doing directly with the pen so it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it what time is it in your country so Nemul right now I'm in USA uh, East I'm in USA in the ET zone the Eastern time zone it is 10 15 here morning time a.m. Can color pen? Yes, Mridula, you can use color pen. Look, let, let me show you one this pattern. This is the same pattern, but it very, very easy way. And I use the black, but filled it with the color. And there are various other patterns where we directly draw with the colors. Oops. Sorry, guys. Let me put it on the no disturb mode. I forgot to put it on the silent. Okay. So now is the time to draw the So we don't really want very absolute circle, like don't really need any, <laughs> it's okay Lavina, that's fine. So try to draw the circle, but don't draw absolute circle, like don't use any cap or anything to draw the circles. We don't want absolute circle, we are not drawing any geometric shape, we are drawing very organic shape. So let it be a little wavy and a little, uh, little bit here and there like, uh, going in and out not absolute circle but circle-ish shape would be fine can you use watercolor after inking you it depends on your pen if it doesn't bleed with the water then you are good if it bleeds then definitely you can't use it so generally archival ink pen won't bleed but uh, it's it's good to test it before you directly put the water on your black ink pen So Krishna, what you can do, just draw these two lines and leave this pattern and start start drawing this. And then you can complete this pattern after the session. You can restart the uh, video anytime, okay? 
that is my suggestion to you krishna just draw this line two lines and leave this pattern and start drawing the circles so we are going to draw lots of circles which are kind of overlapping touching you can draw big you can draw small let them be little different like little small little big then they will look much prettier here i'm drawing little small and then i'm just keeping it like this way so that you guys can see it so you can draw them big or small it's absolutely okay i i deliberately drew drew like the little smaller and little bigger so so that we get that organic feeling like they are not absolutely of the same size no problem krishna so we are kind of drawing this much is enough for our pattern so i kind of drew one line here like i drew five here and uh, like five kind of here if you do little smaller you can make six or you can make four it's absolutely your choice it's not like hard and fast rule to exactly copy my way my pattern is kind of an inspiration for you you can draw on your own style too you can put your own element too please look carefully if you understand how to do the one flower then you can easily repeat the same thing in all of them that is the fun in this drawing they are the repeated pattern so you can start from any corner and we are kind of drawing these kind of contour line like the way we draw in the little not very straightish and we keep on repeating these are the kind of the spiral art which we do on thursdays and we keep on filling these circles like that this, so this is the kind of one layer of the flower and then we keep on repeating like you see here is the corner so you can start from one corner try to cover up the corner like that like here so here is one so that is our purpose to cover up the corner and then when you just draw take the corner make it triangularish so then it will give you the flower look so just go by your feelings and keep filling these lines try to get these triangularish kind of shape and when they all are done then they will give you a very abstract feeling of the rose flowers so these are basically all the patterns and they are very abstract pattern but we love to give them name and to associate them with any object so that's why we are calling them abstract roses and we now keep repeating the same thing in all the circles which we have drawn so come on guys keep drawing later on if you want you can fill the red color if you want or the roses or the colorful roses all roses of the different color yes i'm doing shreya so as you can see i'm doing slanted let me put it more closer if you want so like you see here is the corner kind of thing so i'm going to fill this corner now here is you see the corner so i'm drawing one line here so i got this triangular kind of shape here i find one corner so that's how we are going to fill it so that we get these triangularish kind of petals you see we can make them little wider little smaller it's absolutely fine hey shweta So that's how you are going to do i hope you get it shreya still i'm going to draw the same thing in the other flowers you can see me how you start it look carefully you can choose any corner wherever you feel like and draw this first line so this is kind of the contour line the way you drew in these net and then you keep on rotating your paper and then like this is, will be the second line 
and then this will be the third line so that's how you can try achieving these kind of triangular shape so that's how keep filling in different different direction keep changing the direction so that they won't look like very much uh, like one over the other so now I'm keep drawing all the roses you guys can start completing the way I hope you find it easy but Anya Pigna can I make this drawing because this is my yes Mridula that is the fun you can easily make this design this is very very easy and the best part is there is no judgment and there is no comparison you are not making any face or anything so I should be similar they are supposed to be on the same line there is no checking like that if your flowers are a little bigger than mine if they are smaller if you drew four instead of five it's absolutely okay if you draw less steps or the more steps then also it is absolutely okay so this is just a pattern drawing mainly the purpose of these drawings to have fun and to feel relaxed and to get that meditative effect I hope you get it so best of luck for your first artwork I hope you'll do it best and don't forget to join my discord and submit your work I would love to see your submission I would love to be part of your art journey as you guys are part of my journey thank you for joining me like I showed you the participant Dorothy she submitted today in the artwork she joined a lot of the other artwork together and she put her own element and she made a beautiful big artwork you can convert these kind of patterns in any beautiful big pattern as I always show this one every single time like the same pattern you can convert it into the big one so one small pattern can be easily converted into the big pattern and if you guys end up making any of your own artwork please submit it at the art corner so that other participants will also get inspired by that and even me too i also get a lot of inspirations when you guys submit your artwork and you put your own elements there now i'm turning this around as i showed you like you can make it easier way and you can use the red color later if you want in your these pattern the same rose flower or maybe any other color it's your choice keep making these lines and try to fill this hole so this is kind of the spiral art which we do on every Thursday morning like right now these days so you keep on filling the shape no problem Ridula. oops I'm sorry guys just give me a minute it seems like my internet disconnected on my mobile I'm back
so guys while drawing don't forget to write down one or two and you know when to write one and when to write two if you are drawing with me write down one if you are just enjoying watching me drawing write down two so while completing these rows please write down one or two thank you monica Thank you Suhani, Krishna, Karuna and Bhumika, Nemul. <coughs> Thank you Neelam, Ridula, Abhijanya, Rohit, Suraj, Palomi. Hi Nidhi, hi Palomi. Just loving the pattern. Thank you Suraj. Thank you Lavina. Thank you Linda. Hey Shreya, Nemul. Thank you, Suraj. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, hi, Manjula. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you, Surbhi, Gitanjali, Vidya. Awesome. Thank you, Seghik. Thank you, guys, for your feedback. So you guys can hear me here, but I can't hear you. So when you reply on the chat, that's how I can hear you guys. And I feel connected. So I really want to say thank you for your feedback, guys. Yes, below me. Please submit your artwork at Discord. Don't forget to submit. I would love to see your work. And my husband is working on the back side of the chat. And he is responsible for all these technical setup and all these uh, my sessions based, uh, if he will not set up all this technical thing I couldn't like it's impossible for me to uh, do all these sessions so I want to say thanks to my husband and uh, he can say hello to all of you hey folks and he is helping me in the chat to reply you guys No problem, Lomi. So are you guys done completing all the roses? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me the camera a little here. Awesome yes done done awesome so now after this we are going to fill these all empty spaces or we call the negative spaces in between the pattern you can use the same pen and you can fill inside this or maybe you can use a little thick pen here so that you can fill it a little quicker and we are going to use the and we are going to fill these negative spaces and when you fill these negative spaces your flower will become like more uh lavina i'm just filling the negative spaces so uh, you can go ahead and you can complete the roses no problem and if you can't catch up with the these negative spaces fillings you can leave it for now and you can fill them later after the session maybe So I'm not going to draw any new pattern as of now. So you can catch up easily on your flowers. Okay. We can use the same pen also. It's just that that take a little extra time because the tip size is a little thin. So that's why I'm using this pen. This little thick tip pen. Okay. 
थैंक यू सूरज So that's how we complete all these negative spaces here and I'm going to use the same pen and all these crossings in our these net which we made so we are just going to give one little these tiny uh, dots or the blinks to decorate our these nets. and when we do a lot of mixed media kind of work so then at these spaces generally we put very tiny Swarovski gems you know they the black colors Swarovski gems they will like enhance the beauty of your pattern drawing a lot if you are like kind of framing it or gifting it you can put and even after this also at some places randomly if you want you can put some um, black gems very tiny ones not the big size very small tiny size would look very beautiful you can just stick them on like you can convert these into the greeting cards also like if you are giving it on any birthdays or anything then you can stick the jam or uh, some of those kind of beautiful things so that will uh, like sparkle it beautifully so it depends the purpose like how you are using it so that's the just one aspect I would like to share with you or maybe you can use the golden pen the golden leaf pen the gold pen will go very beautiful with the rose design and the black and white if you are using it as a gift or any uh, greeting card like that okay yes you can use silver pen why not you can use silver pen definitely okay guys now shall we start the next step the next our next uh, these leaf pattern and these little twisted uh, bushy pattern some uh, very twisted leaves so let's first start these two so if you want you can use the pencil for just for the marking let me grab one pencil that would be easier so okay monica i'm waiting I'm waiting take your time so till then time it would be great if you guys can grab one pencil to draw two guidelines for are those pattern in the middle representation of roses so you are talking about these so they are the roses when is the recording over you can watch recording after the session anytime Nia and these are the abstract roses these are just Two different kind of leaves or the bushes or I don't know like the birds you can call them anything whatever you feel like basically all these are the abstract pattern and it is just up to us what we call what we want to call them and what we want to associate them with it's absolutely your choice we have drawn the same kind of rose pattern but it's very diff different and that is also like these you see these three patterns so that is also very abstract you can draw in many various ways all these kind of pattern so now when is that okay now i would like everybody to grab the pencil and to draw like on the top of here where we want to start our first this kind of you know that uh ovalish shape from the top and it's little coming down all the way like here 
this the, these are just the guidelines so guys please draw very light because eventually we are going to so eventually you are going to erase these lines thank you Nemul. and here we are going to draw one more line one more oval that's kind of going like this so let me just erase this line and let me just fix this guideline here a little bit so these are my two guidelines which we are going to use to draw our those uh, pattern and I'm going to draw this one a little bit more yes so these are the two guidelines and I'm keeping my pencil back still if you want you can use your pencil uh, to draw the inner lines and then you can trace it it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it now here we are going to shall I start now everybody is done drawing the guidelines I hope So I would suggest you, if you want, you can use the pencil still to draw the lines and then re retrace them with the, uh, thank you Mridula Suhani. So now here in the center of this, here we are going to start our, this line. This is the first line. And after this first line, first step, please look carefully everyone. We are going to draw this and take it and we are going to take it like here so this will be the first step I don't have much space after the roses oh Rohit you mean you don't have much space on the top so you can make this a smaller maybe because we uh, we have a lot of space here so but if you don't have a space don't worry you can just make only one pattern maybe on the side one of these instead of two or maybe you can just make like the very small part of it now here it will go like this so as I told you earlier if you want you can draw this pattern with the pencil first this will be the second step so the first step is to draw this top part curvy then this is the second step and then now I'm drawing the third step here and then it will touch all the line this will be the third step then again it will come from this side fourth step so that's how like it's kind of entangling uh, with each other and the fifth step so that's how we are going to draw this still some space left so Monica, uh, I didn't get it, it's still some space left in the top, in the bottom, like connect it all the way to the flower, you can make it longer, no problem, like I made it one, two, three steps, you can make it four or five steps, that's absolutely okay, because this is a repeated pattern, you keep on repeating the same thing until uh, your space is filled kind of, insides, insides means the sides of your uh, guidelines so that's why i made all these lines and touching the guidelines that's why we drew the guidelines so that we can touch them and if you are drawing with the pen then you can do it anything just leave it like that if you are using with the pencil then you can fix it easily so i would suggest you to in the second part draw it with the pencil so that you can retrace it with the pen but if you have already drawn it with the pen with the first one just leave it like that it's okay no problem you can make it a thinner also that is also nice no worries now we are going to do the same thing in this one 
so if you want to see the steps again guys I'm doing it one more time please look carefully we are drawing in the center point here this will be the first line and touch the guidelines and then this will be the second line so this is the first step to start with from the top so the second step is please look carefully start from the uh, the outside of the first step and make it curvy line going towards the right hand side and touch it all the way to the guideline it's okay then start from here and when you see here is the space just touch it all the way and when you are making your these outer lines touch them to your guidelines that's why we drew the guidelines so that we stay in the shape and we touch the guidelines so that we will get that uh, particular that oval shape which we drew as our guidelines And wherever your flowers are coming just stop there don't please trace over the flower like this perfect this time awesome Monica glad so that's how we draw our these lines and now we are going to fill our these inner spaces which is which we call the negative space or the leftover space or the shadow area you can call it anything we are going to fill them you can use the thick tip marker pen or the same pen it's absolutely your choice and we are going to fill this area like this and I'm going to erase our these pencil lines which we drew as the guideline be careful if your ink is little wet then don't use your pen so generally we don't use pen until we are done with our whole pattern so that it dries well and we use it after kind of half an hour or so but right now for the video purpose I am just using it right now in my design it's symbolic of two becoming one <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's nice so okay now in this one we are going to fill this whole area here i'm just doing it this way so that you guys can see it clearly It's okay that's why I say so if you feel like the pattern is little tricky or the difficult you can just draw it with the pencil first and then you can retrace it with the pen because once you draw with the pen then it's difficult to like change it but as I always say there is no error no mistake in the pattern drawing if you think you mess up don't call it mess up just make it your new pattern idea and make it a part of your design <clears throat> hey mom how are you doing thank you for checking in here now inside of this pattern please look carefully we are going to draw the set of this parallel line So 
So in every single section, we are going to draw this set of parallel line. If you find it difficult, you can just leave it. No problem. It's absolutely optional. Okay, guys. If you want to make your artwork a little bit more easy, you can skip this whole design with the one which we are doing right now. If you want to make it more intricate the way we are making, you can change your pen and you can use the thinner tip instead of the 0.5 mm, you can use 0.1 mm or 0.005 mm pen and then you can easily use them. You can, uh, then you will get enough space to draw more. So if you want to indicate your design, you can change your pen to the thinner tip size. It's absolutely your choice. Try to avoid keeping your hand on your work. Can we use different color pen for parallel lines? Yes, Shreya, why not? You can use different color pen. I generally use just black pen in the videos, but uh, I really love to use different color pens in my a lot of other uh, artwork. Um, I use different other color pen and you will definitely get different look to your artwork. Maybe if you find them like the uh, leafy shades, so you can use different various shades of greens. It's absolutely your choice. As I always say, there is no hard and fast rule. There is no... Uh, uh, like imagination is the only limit. Like you can use whatever you feel like. Now in these parallel lines we are going to fill them with wavy line let me show you how we are drawing that wavy line i am just going to show you here so suppose this is the line so the wavy lines are going like that so that is the way i am drawing this wavy line inside these parallel lines so now inside these parallel lines, we are going to draw that. It would be better if we change our pen and if we use the thinner tip pen because we have the less space. Although we can use the same pen also. But if you change the pen, then you will definitely get much better look. But in this video, I'm not changing my pen. I'm using the same pen as you can see. But if you change the pen to the thinner tip, definitely you will get more space and you can draw more of these kind of drawings. Oh, have very little space in parallel lines. You can skip that. Uh, you can skip that wavy line pattern. You can just make dots, Monica. You can just make dots in between two parallel lines, or maybe you can just make the straight lines. Thank you, Shweta. Keep making these parallel lines guys these wavy lines I mean inside these parallel lines and I must tell you that I have made more than hundred these kind of composition pattern drawing uh, in past two three months and this pattern I'm drawing first time so that is the best part in these pattern drawing like what I am trying to do in every composition at least one pattern is there that is absolutely new from the all other pattern and even these abstract roses I just drew one time long ago very simple basic easy pattern and in this live session it is the first time we are doing these kind of abstract roses we have made these abstract roses one those are very different with that that uh, different other patterns but these pattern which we are drawing right now this is the very first time i'm using in this composition so in all the zen doodle pattern you will see some of the patterns we are repeating and uh, even though repeating we there is some new elements in them that is the fun 
the same pattern but with different style like and there are some patterns which are absolutely new the one pattern which we are drawing right now even this inside pattern in the parallel lines as well as these two beautiful leafy shape these are the very first time i'm introducing in this pattern so there are few participants who are with me since past three four months when i started these live sessions after that covid started and everyone is stuck at home then i started those free sessions for everyone so that we can spend some good quality time at home and we might get some relaxation in that tough times and so we are drawing these pattern drawing and i really love them what pen are those Nemul, the september calendar is already on my facebook as well as on my patreon.com as well as on my discord you can see at any three places it's available all three places Nemul. and i am using pen micron pigma 08 pen and if you are at my discord so there is a material list set channel and you can see all the materials as well as their uh, amazon link and the, this pen link is already there in the youtube description the video which you are watching right now after the session you can check the description and you'll get the link there too zoom your art so is this you want share is this better now okay so now we are done with this pattern and I'm just making the boundary line little thick with the same pen. Boundary line of this design. same as I'm going to do in this one and you see this leftover area here we are going to fill this leftover area with all black ink So what tip size pen do you use normally Nia? I am using 0.5 mm tip size. So normally I use the same pen but in some of the artwork where I make the intricacy little more and I want uh, more uh, make my artwork a little bit more intricate then I uh, keep choosing like different different kind of pen. Scene is blurry. How about now? Okay. Now guys, we are going to draw the leaves here. Again, if you want, you can draw direct, you can draw the uh, leaf pattern with the pencil. I'm again keeping my pen back. It would be easier for you guys to use the pencil, grab the pencil again and to draw these leafy pattern like one and two here maybe we can make it a little bit more wider like this and one leaf is going like this so that's how you can draw the leaf uh, this please draw these two kind of leafy pattern with the pencil these are the guidelines again guys i drew a little dark so that you guys can see it clearly 
and I would like you guys to draw very light so that uh, you guys can erase it and we don't see any pencil marks. Yes, Monica, this is the final pick you can see here. So, Nia, in the Discord, there is a channel. The name of the channel is Art Corner. You can submit their, your work there. Now, in the very center, I drew these set of parallel lines here. And we have already drawn this pattern, this little water droplet kind of this wavy leafy pattern but here it is in very connecting and kind of making this leaf shape i'm going a little out so that i can cover this area beautifully and you keep you can uh, keep drawing like that Start from the base of the leaf. And they are kind of touching each other. So that's how we make this leafy pattern. And we are not supposed to erase the lines so quick. We'll just leave them for some time. And the same thing, we are going to draw the line here. And the best thing I can do, I can erase them now. But still I can see some guideline marks. So then I can draw in that guideline easily so then I need not to erase them later that's how it will help me and then now I draw the same way keep drawing these pattern and fill your that leaf shape the guideline which you draw The one side and then the second side keep making these curvy teardrop shapes we have used this shape a lot of time but in this way we are using it first time in lot of pattern we have used these teardrop shape in various ways if i find any i can show you if i like in this one we have used on the very corners of these we have used them in various uh, pattern in different different style in this way they are combining and making a leaf so the first time we are using it like that and if any space you see here so just fill it and make your lines little more thicker and more prominent the center line I'm talking about and don't leave any white space white space in between these leafy pattern if you see any just erase it just fill it and I'm erasing these pencil lines now Okay guys, so after that in these leafy pattern we are going to draw one, one of this dot in the middle 
and we'll draw this curvy line dot in the middle and then this curvy line and then we can draw one dot on the top also So these lines are supposed to be little curvy so that will give the look of your leaf is like going into the curve instead of very straight line. So these lines are supposed to be in the sink of the shape of your petal. Awesome now you can make these curvy lines in inside the petals each and every petal these are kind of the fillers and then we'll do the other side also So if you are left with a lot of space and if you want to fill them, you can make these leaf more, like more than two instead of, you can make them three or four. It's absolutely your choice. And if you want, you can just leave them like that. And what I'm just doing, you see here is the leftover area. I'm going to fill this space also. So that this leafy pattern will brighten up more. You can see me right easily. Mm -hmm. So keep filling the pattern like that. And here also just till this level like kind of very close near we are going to fill it. So that these leafy pattern will become part of it. Like just till here. And in this area, we are going to make lots of circles. Although it's not there in the original reference picture, but here we are left with a lot of space. So we are kind of giving these as a filler here that's it and we are going to fill this little bit we already filled this area we are going to fill a little bit of this area and now is the time for the final drawing that's the base check in the background it is kind of the same thing so that will bring this whole pattern more uh, more together everything and I just make it a little apart. Please wait. Okay, Lavina, I'm waiting. Take your time, guys. Take your time. I'm keeping my pen here. No problem. And the most important part after that drawing is the shading in this one. We are going to shade in these little tiny uh, parallel lines as well as we'll use, we'll do shading and make it 3D look in the net. And we'll do shading in the flower corners also to give them little up and down. Thank you, Suhani. Let's wait for 30 more seconds so that everyone can, can catch up and we all can draw quickly. Let's just wait for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to use the same pen and we are going to make lots of these contour lines in our this pattern and the background. Thank you, mom. Okay, Shweta. So suppose here is one rose you can see quickly. So this is the circle. Draw this line. Like that. And keep on filling the pattern. Like this. No hard and fast rule, just the curvy line and you keep on filling like that. I hope you get it.
and you can anytime re uh, start the video after the session and you can see it okay shweta so now guys i'm keeping it little slanted so that i can draw the lines here so i'm starting from the top left corner and whenever any of any other pattern is coming i'll stop here and i will just keep going keep going keep going all the way to the corner to corner yes yes Gitanjali. so like the way we drew like that so we keep on drawing little curve little wavy yes not very straight but they are little far they are very open in the background like that and you see here we I have a space but I want to draw this lines as if it is in the background like this so I just done drawing hatching line kind of please show rose pattern again oh Shanti you can you know let me complete it then I'll definitely show you okay don't worry let me complete the pattern and you just draw the circle and leave that once I'm done with everything then I'll definitely show you okay And now we are going to draw the vertical lines so for the vertical line as you can see I'm drawing here and this will be my one line and no problem Shanti I'll show you thank you mom my mom also joined me from India Try to maintain the distance, but if they are not absolutely uh, of the same distance, then also it's okay. How to draw the leaves? <laughs> okay, Shweta. Uh, so first we draw the leaves with the pencil, draw the guidelines, and then we fill them with the shape. But you know, you can uh, restart the video anytime once we are done with the session. You can... Uh, review as many times as you want so that's how we will draw this pattern and if it is cutting anywhere in the bottom just please cut it now i'm using my thick pen and i'm making the dots on all these intersections wherever these horizontal and vertical lines are joining like the way we made dots in this base one and after that here is a very important thing if you have a thin gray marker pen you can use thin gray marker pen for that if you don't have thin gray marker pen you can use pencil I'm also going to use pencil here guys okay You can use any pencil, any graphite pencil, whatever you have. Did I miss any crossing? I don't think so. So now kind of we are drawing. Nice follow me. My mom also lives in India. So now we are drawing the same pattern one more time. So before you draw, let's take a look in the original picture you see these ones so they will make an illusion of the 3d like kind of uh, this is the shadow of these net what we are making right now so we are going to draw these with the pencil you can use any pencil any school pencil will work i'm here using just normal uh, this b pencil this is a normal uh, graphite pencil and this is b the number if you want to see this is the b pencil and I'm going to draw the same parallel lines but little further so this is the kind of the shadow which is falling on the ground so this will go a little further than these net which we are drawing
this is the fun of this pattern and you can draw this exactly the thing which we are drawing with the light gray marker pen if you have a thin light gray marker pen you can use that and now we are going to draw towards little right side the same pattern and then we are going to draw the dots also in the intersection of these pencils pencil drawing so wherever the intersection of the pencil drawing please make those dots with the pencil only I hope I'm not missing any dots okay awesome I think I didn't miss any okay so let's keep it like that and we are kind of done with the drawing no 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 we are left with one more pattern guys I'm sorry and now is the last pattern of our this design those are those uh, leafy pattern and I really love that this pattern if you have drawn along with me like in my past sessions I have used this pattern a lot and especially with this in this rose pattern you see all these little beautiful with these rows so the same thing I have used in this in this all four corners so it seems like I really love this pattern and I have used it a lot and I'm using it very like not too much just three birds of them three stems of them so we are going to draw over here this is the one pattern and I'm going to leave a little bit in between for the highlighted area if you have white jelly roll pen you can come back again and you can make this highlight later and if you have white uh, correction pen you can use that you can use white acrylic paint if you want for the highlight thank you so much thank you Mridula and we can draw these two here and in this pattern if I like I can draw like kind of one here so that's why I told like it's sometimes you can change your pattern of your own style like wherever you feel like uh, like your space if you want kind of we are filling the space of, on our own style so let's just stay here that's it and now it's the time the most important time of all Zen doodle all pattern drawing thing is the shading and for the shading for these nets I'm using my this Prismacolor ebony pencil this really writes very dark you can use any pencil any pencil would work your school pencil so we are laying down the graphite keep your pencil as low as possible so that you don't get pencil marks rather you get just the graphite and fill the corners of these nets both side top and bottom and be careful it's supposed to be darker as we are in the corner no white space leaving and you can use blending stump for the shading you can use tissue paper you can use cotton ball you can use earbud or the q-tip it's absolutely your choice but try to avoid using the finger to blend them or to smudge them because that's not nice then it's a lot of chance to mess up and to put your finger everywhere and try to keep it lighter as it's going a little further I 
and guys don't forget to submit your work when you guys are done okay at the art corner so that everyone can see them and everyone uh, can see your work also and you can see other people's other participants work also and after that I'm using this q-tip here and then I'm doing these circular motion you can use either the circular motion or very small back and forth it's absolutely your choice I love doing smudging with these small circular motions these are called as the scumbling so you can use that and as you see when you are done at the both side it will create an illusion of the 3d ish style isn't it guys and be careful we are not supposed to go out but we are working with the pencil and if you go out you can easily erase it don't worry and even if if you fill all the way to the center then just go ahead and erase it okay guys don't fill it all the way to the center leave the center part white so then the because that where we put the pencil or we make the dark that will take it to the background that will recede in the background and whatever area we leave it brighter or without any pencil that will come forward so that will pop up and that is exactly what we are doing right now we are receding the both corners of these net to the background so that they go they look like like they are going in backside and the center part is coming in the front so that that will create an illusion and that is what we want to achieve here and if you think like a lot of thing is coming in the middle you can just go ahead and erase little bit and then you can fix it easily so keep the center part little white and keep the corner part dark how is it looking guys is it looking 3d ish to you or not you can use these kind of pencil for sharper tip and because we want to stay inside in these so i suggest you guys to use the blending stump if you have to blend it because this is a precision kind of blending here we are doing what do you mean by the precision kind of blending because the, the area is a small pen brand please ma'am so if you are talking about the pen which i am using here kavya i am using micron 08 pigma sakura brand pen and yes rohit awesome nice but you can use any pen any archival ink black marker pen would work i love this one the micron pen they are the japanese pen the beautiful archival ink a stadler brand is very good in india i have used them and faber castell is also very good i don't have blending stump no problem if you don't have blending stump use the q-tip use them very uh, carefully and if you come on these borders by mistake just erase them with the eraser okay with the thin uh, eraser i can just suggest that but if you have the thin blending stump i would suggest you guys to use the thin blending stump in this area i'm going to show you how it looks the thin blending stump just in a second let me just fill this on the corner and then I'm going to show you how the thin blending stump look. That's how the thin blending stump looks. I bought it from India only long, long, long ago. And Tortian would also work very well in them. Just blend them. Yes, Unipin is also good, Lavina, but I'm not really sure that are they archival link or not. But I have used Unipin. They are very fine and very free-flowing pen. But uh, I'm really not sure if archival link thing. So if you go some on the side, so then we can erase them with the precision eraser or the thin eraser, whatever you have. 
we don't really want to go that's why I suggest to use the blending stump in these smaller areas and keep the center part white also in these ones and like if you see if it is going oops where is my precision eraser okay no worries I'll erase it later I'll use this just this eraser right now oh here okay and now I'm going to use my same pencil and we are going to do shading everywhere side so they are like kind of uh, giving their leaving their shadows so that the, everything comes a little forward and we can see their shadow in the background just fill them with the very corner lightly not very much just very lightly okay you can use blending stump or q-tip whatever you feel like to blend them try to avoid going inside that is the only thing which i would like you to take care of can you one show how to do with q-tip yes Surbi. i will do again with the q-tip i did all this net with the q-tip only and I will use q-tip again if you want in this corner so just give me a minute let me lay down the graphite we are going to go over these circles also a little dark you know around these leaves and in fact we can make these leaves also a little darker from the border if you want with the darker pen that is optional but that will help you in shading easily because the border is dark so that will help in the shading thick line easily create the illusion Keep laying down graphite alongside the leaves. And you know wherever the boundary is, I'm going to do that as well as I, uh, you know, where is my this Q-tip is. So the shadow where we draw these. So I'm just going to go over these lines also, just to give it a little bit more, uh, you know, blurry kind of look. Not very prom like st prominent straight. So that's how you are going to use now you can see i'm going to use now one more shading is left alongside with the rose flowers and that will be the last shading i think so as you can see i'm using my q-tip and i'm going to go over very slowly on the corners i don't really want to go in to the shape We can use precision blender uh, uh, also the blending stump in these ones because they are kind of little uh, tiny space and we don't really want to go into the leaf but it's your choice if you think you are doing well and you are not going in to the you are not going into the leaf then you are fine and if you go a little bit in you can just erase it later with the eraser so that is not a problem <clears throat> now I'm kind of done now you see alongside with these little roses so like I want to make this rose on the top so I'm going to lay down little shadow of this rose over the connecting roses I want to bring this rose onto the up bring forward so i will make the shadow of this rose so whichever rose you want to bring it up you can 
make the shadow alongside with that rose so that will bring that rose little bit more up it's your decision you whichever rose you want to bring top bring forward and whichever rose you want to take it into the background you can go accordingly just fill the color and use your q-tip or the blending stump and do it very small don't spread it way too much it is kind of just little less this is our final shading of these i think and after that our the last and the most important thing that is to sign and to write down date and to praise your artwork guys and feel good about your artwork and i think someone asked me how to do the rose after the sign and date i will do it quickly on my rough sheet how to do the rose so if you want to see you can stay and see that and if you have any questions, you can stay and ask. I'll look at the chat and I'll reply you back. So whichever rows you want to bring in the forward, you can just lay down the graphite around it and you can make it shadow. That shadow will make the surrounding part in the background and the that rows will come into the front. So you can go ahead and you can fix it, erase it, whatever way you want. And you can. Rose shading is compulsory. Nothing is compulsory, Mridula. It is absolutely your choice, whatever you want to do. So this is the fun with these kind of patterns that there is no hard and fast rule. It is absolutely your choice how you want to draw your pattern, how you want to shade and how you want to fill the colors. If you don't want to shade, you can just fill the colors like that just with different colors so it's absolutely your choice now the last and the most important part is to shake to write down your signature or the initials like I'm writing my initial and today's date is 4th September 9.4.20 and the last and the most important part is to praise your artwork and to say some good work good words to yourself and to your artwork Good job, Nidhi Prakash. You did awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed drawing it with me. If you like, if you think this is an easy or the moderate or the difficult artwork, you can give me as a feedback. If you find it easy or tough, yet it is completed. <laughs> you are welcome, Karuna. And I don't remember, someone asked me to draw the rose one more time. I'm doing it quickly here for you. Thank you guys. Please write down easy, moderate or tough, whatever you feel like. And like this is the circle. And you can draw the rose lines like these curvy lines. And it is kind of the spiral art which we draw on every Thursday. And we keep filling spiralish all our shape that's how we do it moderate thank you lavina thank you so much and you're welcome guys so don't forget to submit your artwork in the discord channel if you haven't joined the discord go ahead and join it it works better if you download the app first download the discord app and then click on the link which is the night bot is giving every now and then in the chat i'm seeing it here and then you can join it <laughs> okay gitanjali actually with the colors is little difficult let me show you some of the colored artwork so um, if i grab it quickly here let me grab it here so like these are some of the colored artwork as you can see like this is one of the colored artwork the colored zentangle this is oops turning around these are the colored zentangles but i'm not sure how we can finish them in one and a half hour maybe we keep the design very small or something so 
that's why I avoid using colored artwork because uh, we particularly need a lot of material and to achieve these kind of you know the texture we really need different different kind of material so but thank you for your suggestion I'll try it no problem guys you can see the video later and you can retry it again so Shreya I have used color pencils the Prisma color color pencils in those most of them the one I showed you and some of them I have used the brush marker pen some of them I have used the Sakura one in the Sakura Pigma colored marker pen so there are the various other materials for different kind of texture we use so that's why I try to avoid using the colors because every single time I don't want to ask you guys to bring different different kind of material that's why I want to keep it like that but I give you a few examples so that you can try them and when you join the discord in the art corner you see a lot of people are submitting beautiful colorful artwork pattern as I showed you the one submitted today uh, in this art corner <clears throat> this Dorothy she just used these few colors but still it is looking so beautiful all the patterns she have used are all we did we do in our uh, spiral art session and you can see all other artwork which other people are making and they are submitting so we get a lot of inspiration here and you can submit your artwork here too okay guys bye for now see you so i'll see my patrons tomorrow for the mandala art and i'll see you everyone on sunday same zen doodle pattern and on sunday if you want to see we are going to draw this pattern so this pattern we are going to draw on sunday join me same time on sunday for the zen doodle pattern this one okay guys bye 